interesting because they are not animated. At the same time, while reading, you can face a bunch of difficult words. In short, don't waste your time reading. Just don't be and we can have fun using my smartphone. Because the smartphone can cover all you need. Change the mic. Because I believe that books have huge benefits. Added to that, smartphones are just a waste for time and money. So, books are better than smartphones. Smartphones are better than books. Books are better than smartphones. Smartphones are better than books. Books are better than smartphones. Stop fighting, girls. Here is the solution. Sweet deal. It's a land wake up. Through it, you will understand that no matter the technology is developed, you cannot get rid of books. Also, it offers you the chance to learn new skills in a funny way without being bored even if you are far away from school. So Sweet Dream will reduce the negative use of modern technology and will improve the teenager's level in English because as a team, every one of us has seen this problem happening in his family and in our community. That's why we wanted to, uh, to, uh, to find a solution and we are on Sarah and 14 years old. I am Mary and I am 10 years old. My name is Javadli and I am 10 years old. I am Manoj and I am 10 years old. My name is Mimoni and I am 14 years old. So, Sweet Dream is an Android app. Through it, uh, the, uh, through our app, uh, the user will have the opportunity to read the whole animated story that can influence positively on their social life. So, let's get inside our app, Sweet Dream. So first, when the user get, gets inside Sweet Dream for the first time, the first step is to register in our app in order to have his own username and password. But if he had already gone inside our app, his username and password will be automatically stored in the database of our app. And the registration part is for multiple users. So after logging in our app, the user will have access to all the services provided by our app. So let's talk about the first service. Since our goal is to convince the young learners about the fact that books are not boring, we saw that providing them with a whole animated story would be the best solution. Because these animations will permit them to be interested while seeing the main characters moving from one place to another and while seeing their different situations and emotions. So, these animations can help them to understand more and more the story. services of our app is the website. So this private website would be the network of all the people who downloaded the app because the only way to have access to it is through the registration in the app. In the website, users can post comments, tell us what do they think about the app. And why not some remarks and these comments will be considered as the most important updates that should be done in our app and as a team we will supervise the website and the posted comments so as a team we thought that some words can be difficult and hard to understand and can interrupt the user from finishing reading our story that's why one of the services of our app is the website so with a simple click the user can have access to an online website and can look for all the difficult words in our app the users can read the story on their own or they can choose read to hear so with a simple click they can listen to every part of the story because this option will be available in all the schools. As our main goal is to solve a big problem in our community, 
and to bring services to people from our society. Our app Sweet Dream is designed to identify three target audiences. The first one is teenagers, because unfortunately, nowadays, teens are addicted to modern technology and they are suffering from a bad level in English skills. So, teenagers will download our app in order to improve their level in English. At the same time, Sweet Dream will make them use the modern technology in a positive way and will let them enjoy learning through reading a whole animated story. Also, our app targets parents because we want to change the mentality of parents in our community and we want to convince them that modern technology can be used as an educative tool and can improve their kids' school results. So, parents will download our app in order to have the pleasure of reading and discovering new skills with their kids in their free time. Also, our app targets kids who need to start building a strong reminder in English from an early age, far away from the negative use of modern technology. It will extend this app in order to have fun in, in their free time. So, after researchers, we found that the app similar to Sweet Dream exists in the on the way marketplace, have two kinds expensive app in which you must pay for every story in order to have access to it. Free apps which are just classic stories converted into a mobile app in the form of large boring text. <laughs> Similar to Sweet Dream do not count on animations, our app is planning to overcome all these apps by providing a whole animated story. Also, our app is unique because it's the only app that provides a way for the user to call an online dictionary and to have access to the app's website. In order to promote our app, Sweet Dream is planning to advertise on social networking sites such as Facebook and YouTube because teenagers use these websites in their daily life and depend on them to stay in touch with friends. So, teenagers are always available in the social networking sites. Added to that, these sites have a big influence on teenagers. Also, we will focus on organizing meetings with parents, kids and teens from our community. And we will organize visits to primary and prep schools to introduce our app program. So, even after this deadline, we won't stop. And our work on the app won't stop here, because we plan to add another story for our app. And this new story will tap a new kind of audience, which are students who have a higher level in English. Also, we will divide our app into two parts. The first part is the free one, and the rest will the paid part. We hope that our app will help in our community and realize our goal. And through our app, we want to change the mindset of parents in our society and to show for them that modern technology can be an indicative tool. Finally, our goal is to see these young learners who downloaded our app influencing others around them. So finally, thank you so much for your attention. This was the presentation of the First Kids Team.